Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and return with time. We have a lot of people in the community who do not understand laws about anything. They are so impoverished in their education and their upbringing, their lack of watching quality television because they watch the idiot box instead of educational programs and newscasts that they don't know anything about the world. I can say nothing about that other than it's their upbringing and it's their advancement in life that they are choosing. If you want to become educated on something, you go pursue it. You go look into it. You research it. You check some resources online. You don't just pick one and then go with it. You check several and you look for the commonalities of the information. You go, okay, this must be the common or universally accepted information that's related to this topic. And this is how we handle things. At the same time, we have people we need to do things with. And to do things with people, we have to be willing to do things with people. But if we have a person in a community like a staple store, who's a techno geek, who is enjoying himself in his payment of his job, looking onto someone's computer and taking their information off it, taking things off their networks, taking things off their social media channels, actually following your texting and your messaging with other people, that player might pick up the phone and call people and say, did you know this? Did you know so-and-so said that? But everything they're doing is illegal. How do I highlight this for these young people? What you're doing is illegal. What you're thinking in your mind is immoral. So let's be really clear. Where do your boundaries begin and end? Let's be real. You are of the age of majority. It's not like you don't know these things. You absolutely know the rule. Keep your fucking hands to yourself. Just because you don't like someone doesn't give you the rights to put your hands on someone else. Just because you feel com competition or just because you feel some sort of, I don't know, threat in some way to your morality, your business, your profession, your whatever the fuck you do for a living, doesn't mean that person is actually a threat. It could just be your mind fucking your life. You see, in life, we have to talk about what is and isn't right. Now, what I'm seeing right now is not right. I basically see a woman walking into a store in her underwear. I'm sort of offended by that and I think other people should be too. But that's not my belief. It might not be yours, and it's not about you. But what I can tell you is that I'm not about to walk, about to walk up to some stranger and start putting my hands all over them. And I'm certainly not going to try that thing at night because, wow, isn't that what rape's about? But what I'm telling you is if you fucking think you own somebody's ass, you are out of control. You have just put yourself into a slave master position, and nobody gave you the rights to that. There's no law in the land that says you can do that. And if you're stealing things off someone's head, if you're taking things off their back, and I've literally been in a steak and shake over in Noblesville, I set my bag down there, I went to the laboratory, and when I came back, one of my sweatshirts was gone. And I'm like, what the fuck? You see, in my family, amongst the to speak the truth, and ever since I came to Champaign, somebody's been stealing from me. They stole a marvelous pullover uh, type of hat that I had that was neoprene, that was perfect for me in winter. Protected me, protected my beard, protected my face, protected my head. And and it's gone. And my gloves that I had pre on got stolen. And now, in a pair of jackets that I just looked at, I saw these new clothes in my fucking jacket. And I know what they look like. They look like something for my son. Who the fuck said you could go into my storage and bring that here and put them in my clothes? Give me a fucking break. I'm not stupid. I'm not retarded. Stop putting the fucking buttons in my pocket. And somebody just cut a button off on my shirt. So who the fuck are you to do that? I am not asking you to give, you, give me comments about my fashion. Every man, every woman, every child, within reason of their childhood. But most importantly, people over the age of majority have the fucking right to decide what they're going to wear. They're going to decide what clothes they like. They're going to decide what size they like. They're going to decide what color they like. They're going to decide. Not you, motherfucker. 